formerly Manga Studio, Clip Studio Paint has been giving Photoshop a run for its money for a few years now as a drawing and painting app for artists. As with everything related to art, it's down to personal preference. But for my money, I personally feel that Clip Studio Paint, or CSP, is the better drawing app. I'm Brinkley, and these are the 10 best Clip Studio Paint shortcuts for artists. Before I begin, please hit that subscribe button so I can feel a sense of self-worth. Thanks. Also, this list is in the description in case you want a quick answer, and you can also navigate throughout using the chapters. Onto the list. Number 10, B is for brush. CSP uses shortcuts in an interesting way as it's not just what you're pressing, but how many times you press it that will determine what tool you're using. For example, if you press B, then you'll get the brush tool. But if you press B again, you'll select the airbrush tool instead and a third time you'll get the decorate tool, which works in a similar way to stamps. Keep pressing B to cycle through these options to your heart's content. Number nine, E is for eraser. Much like Photoshop, pressing E will get you the eraser tool. Unlike the brush tool, you can only hit E once as there are no alternatives to this tool using this shortcut. Number eight, P is for pen. The standard drawing tools in CSP are the pen and pencil tools. Press P once and you'll select the pen tool which delivers ink and press it again to get the pencil tool which delivers graphite. CSP does a really good job of simulating ink and graphite as well as the different types of paint you can use with the brush tool which I'll cover in this list. If you're used to using Photoshop, the pen tool is like the default hard brush tool in Photoshop. Number 7. Space Pan Too useful not to include, the spacebar key allows you to pan around your canvas by holding it and then clicking and dragging on your screen. This enables you to move around the screen without having to zoom in and out, keeping you in control and your work flowing. Speaking of zooming, number six, the wheel. This technically isn't a shortcut and there are multiple ways of zooming in and out of your canvas. I personally prefer to use the mouse wheel because I find it easier and more efficient to do it. If you don't have a mouse wheel or just want to use keyboard shortcuts for everything, then these are just like in Photoshop. Press Ctrl and plus or Ctrl and minus to zoom in and out respectively. I must say though that sometimes these shortcuts don't work for some reason. It might just be my version or my computer, but sometimes I can only zoom out but not in or vice versa. Let me know in the comments if you've experienced anything similar. Another shortcut that I do use more frequently for zooming in is pressing Ctrl and zero. This zooms the camera out to fit your canvas within your viewport and it's helpful to quickly center your work and reorient yourself. Number five, M to move. Pressing M brings up the selection area, which also includes the lasso tool. CSP have all of the selection types under one roof, so it can be a little confusing if you're used to pressing L to get the lasso tool like you would in Photoshop. Luckily, there are keyboard shortcuts that you can use within the tools themselves so you can find what you need specifically and quickly. Shortcuts like number four, comma and full stop. When you're using a tool in CSP, you have a list of subtools, usually on the left, unless you've moved your workspace around. You can cycle up and down this list by pressing comma to go up and full stop or period to go down. This works in every subtool there is, which is pretty useful. Like the brush tool, you can select different paints and the pen tool, different pens, etc. Number three, control and T to transform. Exactly the same as Photoshop, pressing Ctrl and T turns your layer into a transform box that you can then manipulate by changing the size, scale, or other transformations like distort or skew. You have to right click to get those latter options. Coupled with the selection area tools, this enables you to turn specific selections into a transform box in case you only want to manipulate key areas of your canvas. Number two, Alt for eyedropper. Likewise for number three, this works the same in both programs. It's just too useful not to include. Simply hold Alt while using the brush or pen tools and they'll turn into the eyedropper, so you can color pick on the go. Number one, G for gradient. I've been naming these shortcuts after the first tool that appears when you use them, although I don't use gradients very often in CSP. If you press G twice, however, you get the fill tool. I think CSP has Photoshop beat when it comes to the fill or paint bucket tool, as it's a lot easier to use and doesn't rely on selections to fill an area first. You can probably do that in Photoshop by messing with the settings, but that's a pain in the ass, so I never bothered. Anyway, they are the 10 CSP shortcuts I use on a daily basis, and hopefully they'll be of some use to you too. If you're an experienced user of Clip Studio Paint, let me know which shortcuts you find the most useful and share it with others. The key to digital drawing is to not allow the software to control you, but for you to control it. 
I've been Brinkley, have fun drawing, and I'll see you in the next video.